number one on the list of my spring and summer favorites is this fluffy bunny rabbit. This snout right here. This is the snout. That's my favorite snout. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am Brinley Joyner and this is Ziggy J. <laughs> and if you're not new here, thanks for coming back. If you didn't see my last video, I actually just changed this channel. It used to be the JFam, which was my husband Lucas and I making couples videos all the time. And I did the whole explanation in the last video, but basically it's changed now to just me and he's still gonna be in all the vlogs and everything too. But he's in a very busy stage in his life right now. And it just made more sense going forward to not have to make every single video a couple's vlog or like a couple's routine. And for me to be able to just pop on here and make videos like this. So if you missed that, Go watch the last video so it explains like more in depth of why we changed it and what it's gonna be going forward. But enough of all that, I'm pumped for this video. I'm gonna be sharing all of my spring and summer favorites. I love watching these videos. They give me so many little ideas for things I wanna try out and add into my life, whether it's products or types of workouts or creators to watch and stuff. I think it's just so fun to hear what everybody's loving and try it out for myself. So I'm making one for you guys in hopes that it does the same for you. I have this little note card written out of everything we're gonna get into, but basically, I I've split it up with clothes and shoes, beauty, skincare, home stuff. I don't know what that's called. Food, snacks, supplements. That's an important one. Wellness, fitness, electronics, and creators. But I've been loving a lot recently, so this is gonna be packed with all the good stuff. I'm going to definitely try my hardest to get everything linked for you guys. So if you do see something, you don't have to go search and scavenge for it. It should be linked below. But for the most part, if it's things like clothes, shoes, they will most likely be linked in my link to know it. And then if it's more like home decor, beauty products, makeup, electronics, things like that. That'll be in my Amazon storefront. Okay, with that being said, let's dive into it. The very first thing is clothes. I love clothes. <coughs> Sorry. First thing I'm going to start with is I think they're called button up blouses. Uh, I don't even know the actual name of these, but I buy them all the time. And as you can see, I have them in many colors, but these three are my favorite colors I have right now. I think they add just the perfect pop of color to any outfit. Even if it's like a swimsuit, you're going to the beach and you just want a little cover up. These lightweight little pullovers are so perfect. This one's probably my current favorite. And it is just the softest, lightest weight material. It's just a black tube top, right? But now it's a little pop of color. I think they're really cute with like a bikini top, jean shorts, and this, just throwing it on. I always pack one of these with me in the car no matter where I'm going because I know if I'm like at the beach and wanna go into an acai bowl shop or something, I wanna kind of throw something over, so I'm not just walking in in a full-on swimsuit. This one is Princess Polly, airy. And then this is my newest addition, which is Free People. I love this yellow one too. That's just so cute. Next, this Free People Runzy. So we have the shorts and they have a little pocket in the back and they're just like loose fitting, lightweight, and they are lined. So everything's covered if this flies up in the wind or something. And then the top is just really flattering with this little hole in the middle. I absolutely love this. I'll put some pictures on the screen of me wearing it, but color stunning, the fit, it's so comfortable and it's such an easy piece to throw on for any little active day. I have a few more free people items that I'm obsessed with lately. I I think these are still sold out in this color, but they do have a lot of other cute colors that I will be ordering before I go to Europe. These shorts are stunning. They are low rise. I'll put a picture on the screen. So they sit about here on my hips and I'm not typically a fan of low rise. Like I go for more high-waisted shorts, but these ones, stunning. I love them. Such a good material. They have pockets everywhere and I just love them. My favorite purchase of the year so far. My next favorite for clothes is tube tops. I was like the one I have on right now. This one, I have so many colors of these. I feel like these go with everything and they're just a staple for summer. You can dress them up. You can make them casual. This one is from Free People. You can see like the detail. It's just stunning and yeah i love to wear them i just wear a strapless bra underneath this one is also from free people i have this one in a couple colors but i think they go great with denim shorts with maxi skirts with jeans literally anything and in the summer i love it because you can put your hair back in a braid put a pretty necklace on and it just goes together so nicely with a little tube top that brings me to the next favorite and that is big baggy pants for the summer. Now hear me out. You might think that that sounds like hot or uncomfortable in the summertime, but the material, you just have to get the material right. Loose, flowy, airy, and it is such a fun look. I love wearing these. These are also free people. Can you tell I have a free people obsession? But yeah, they're just so cute on and so comfortable. Wait, here's another pair or four. I have these ones, which if you follow the Instagram, I post all the time in these. These are like my prized possession of free people pants. I love them. They're wide leg. They're so fun. They're great for 
feel like after the beach going back for sunset type of vibes these ones are from white fox and i feel like a good beige is a great option for the summer too but yeah just like linen flowy baggy pants i don't know why but my braid is bugging me so we're gonna take that out real quick much better the next two articles of clothing I have for my favorites are bright summery dresses and maxi skirts. I can't believe I'm even saying that because if you knew me in like college, I was a neutrals only and an all black outfit all the time girl. You would never catch me wearing a pink dress. But something about being by the beach and summertime and just exploring my own style and trying out new stuff has made me really love color. And I don't know, I feel like happier when I wear brighter colors. So I'm loving it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. We'll start with the maxi skirts. I feel like these with tube tops are so cute right now. And again, just such another comfy outfit for a beach dinner, summer outfit dinner. So this is the first one. It's like this mint color from Princess Polly. I love her. And this, this is another prized possession. I am obsessed. I'll put my favorite picture on the screen with this one, but such a fun one. And this one, I actually pulled it up as like a dress as well. And it was like a high to low dress. And that was really cute. This is free people. She is a bit expensive, but I think she's worth it, especially because you can wear it as a dress or a skirt. So cute. This one, I felt like I was living in a movie the whole night. Cause I just, yeah, I couldn't stop spinning and playing with it in the wind. And I just loved it. On to dresses. If you were around in my neutrals, an all black era. You probably think this is so strange, but these are some of my favorites. First, this little orange mini dress. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of the sleeves, but the color of the orange and like the flowiness of the mini dress part and then the open back with the tie, I love it. So I can sacrifice for the sleeves. This is Princess Polly and she is stunning. This next one is a recent purchase, but I'm already obsessed with it. This is from Airy, and I bought this because it's another piece that I can wear multiple different ways. So it's a little mini dress, right? And she is a bit short. I give a warning on this one, but you can tie her in the front like a little bow right here and wear it strapless or you can take these cross them and tie it around your neck and then it has another like beautiful open back thing. that one's really cute and I love the color of that one and again I got it just for Europe so I'm so excited for that one okay this one I don't always love the look of rompers on me but I love when it looks like a dress but it's actually romper and that's what this is it goes off the shoulder and then it scrunches in here and then it has just like very flowy loose shorts that look like a dress this is free people it also has a beautiful open back I love her and then this is similar to the purple one. This is a free people one again She's a short girl, but with like some little nude heels and just making sure no wind comes around I feel like we'll be fine It has a really cute bow in the front and you can tie this up as a halter or just leave it in the front I think this would look really really good with nude little heels and like gold jewelry accents. I love the pattern Okay, that wraps it up for regular clothes Let's move on to some activewear pieces because as much as I love styling outfits You'll find me in activewear like 70% of the time I have a stack of little shorts because these are shorts that I am digging lately They're like the athletic flowy style running hit workout type of shorts. So we have lots of brands to choose from. We'll start with Gilly Hicks. I really love Gilly Hicks. I have these little pink ones, super cute with a pocket in the back. These yellow ones that remind me of just sunshine. And then we'll go to Airy. This color is absolutely gorgeous. So cute. I love these ones. And then we'll go to Vitality. These are actually very new and I'm loving them. They have little built-in spandex underneath and that color is just gorgeous and the material is so buttery soft. And then it also comes in this color. These ones are from Gymshark. I like these, but you do have to wear spandex under these, I'll say, because they're just like loosey-goosey under there. And then lastly, these are both from Amazon and I am obsessed with these. They're such good quality. They feel like any of those other shorts that are from actual stores, but they have a pocket in the back, a very nice fit, and really cute colors. So those are linked in my storefront and the others are from the brands that I said. But yeah, love those shorts. Let's go on to tanks and sports bras. This is my little rack for activewear favorites um, outside of my regular closet. So where do I wanna start? I would say the activewear that I've been wearing the most frequently is Vitality. So we'll start with them. Okay, just look at the colorways. They are gorgeous. Um, this is one of their recent drops. We have little one shoulder sports bras and then they make their pieces so you can mix and match with everything and like those would be the leggings another color of the leggings they have amazing shorts and what i love about vitality is the material it's unlike anything it's i guess similar to lululemon in quality but it's not as expensive as lululemon and i think if i'm being completely honest 
I think it might be a little bit better. I think it's um, just softer. Like it feels so good on your body. I feel like beautiful and comfortable and confident in anything that I put on for Vitality. I'm not even kidding. They have really pretty colors. And I love their sports bras because they're just super simple, kind of like this straight across mini scoop and then they do tank tops in pretty much every color that they do the sports bras and they are padded which is so <laughs> necessary for me i love when the tank tops come padded so i don't have to wear a sports bra underneath but yeah vitality is legit i do have a discount code for them too let me just flash you some other styles i love this one is a staple this one is like such a creative fun style i wore this a lot in hawaii and this one i would say to this day is the one that i have the most questions about when i post it's like this simple black and white. Lots of stunning blues and greens. Lastly on Vitality, if you are a flare pants girly, they make a bomb flare pant. The next two activewear brands I find myself wearing the most are Gymshark and TLF. We'll start with TLF. They, mm, a lot of it's dirty right now, so really all I have to show you is this sports bra of this collection, but they also have it in other gorgeous colors, and I'm obsessed with the sports bra. I'll show some videos of me wearing them. I think it is so flattering. It's such a comfortable halter. A lot of times, I feel like brands that try to do the halter on sports bras they like pull on my neck and they don't feel comfortable but this one absolute buyer these are the shorts and then there's the halter sports bra again so that's my favorite from tlf but of course all their stuff is great that's just the number one style that i'm wearing lately gymshark gymshark has so many little hidden gems because they have so much on their site and it's honestly overwhelming to pick something because you're like where do i even start but these are my favorites right now these bandos if you are a bandeau girly, Gymshark has really good ones. I love their colorways. I think they've done really well this year with getting like some neutrals and earthy tones. This one is my current favorite. Um, and yeah, it's a padded little bandeau and they just go with everything. And then you can also, if you ever want to, you can tuck in the sleeves and just wear it as an actual bandeau strapless. This is also another color I love, absolutely stunning. And then a good classic black one. These sports bras, if you're more of like a V classic type of sports bra, these are really flattering, especially for curls with small chests. I feel like this is one of the most flattering sports bras I've honestly found. I have it in this color too, which is really cute. I think this is their most popular color on the website right now. It's really, really in, and I just love that too. I do think these are a little bit tighter than most of the other sports bras, so if you're worried about it being too tight, I would suggest maybe sizing up. I have some in small and some in medium. Love those. They also have the shorts, which I like the shorts too, but the sports bra is just like perfect. So if you have to only get one piece, I would say get the sports bra, but if you're going for the set, love the shorts too. Okay, there's so much I could say about Octuber, but we'll stop there for now. Let's get into some shoes. For running slash walking, which I don't run a lot, so I can't speak much into if you're actually a runner. I love these. They are the Hoka Bondi 8 or Bondi 8, and they're a little bit dirty, but you get the point. They're super duper cute and so comfy, and I've actually had a lot of issues with underneath my right knee when I do run. If I run anything past a mile, it starts flaring up and hurting, and I think it had to do with the shoes I was running in because I was just running in regular like Nike Metcons, and ever since I switched to these, I have not felt that pain, so I don't know if it attributes to anything else, but I will say I believe that these are part of the solution. Next, my APLs. I'm obsessed with these. I am so obsessed with these. These ones are definitely on the pricier side, but if you're in the gym and you really prioritize working out and being in the gym, I think these are a great option. I lift in these. I do HIIT workouts in these. I walk on the treadmill in these. I do everything. They're not like the absolute flattest sole for lifting. So like, yes, I know that like Converse, for instance, are probably better for weightlifting if you're doing like really heavy weights. But lately my workouts have been more jumping around, going from barbell to jump squats and stuff. So these are what works for me and they're just stunning. I wear these with everything. They're the perfect like creamish white color and they have so many options on the website. I also have a discount for these. I'll put the link in the description. Next, these are for all my outfits with like jean shorts or even with dresses. I love a good pair of black sneakers. I have these high top Vans and then black Converse. Are you a Vans or a Converse girl? I can't pick, I love them both. See. Oh my gosh, Ziggy just came in here and swiped my hair tie. How about you could get a man bun with the hair tie, huh? Would you want to get a man bun? Come chill, come. <laughs> oh gosh, here we go. And that's all for shoes. Let's get into jewelry for the last little thing and then we'll go into beauty. So the jewelry, I'm actually wearing most of the ones that I want to talk about. Some brands that I'm really loving lately are Alco, ALV Jewels, Every Jewels, uh, Mr. Elliman, I think is one name. There's so many good ones you can find online, but right now I'm wearing a lot of Alco. This one is Mr. Elliman, is like this little thick ring. I wear this a lot. And then pretty much the rest of it is from Alco. So we'll start with the rings. This one, this little shell, which is so cute. These little gold bangles, I've been loving these. And then this necklace set is so cute. The B is like 
I don't know where I got that. <laughs> it's so old, but this little set is from Alco as well. Where are these from? I think these are from ALV jewels, but I do have discounts for those. All of them are sweat proof and water resistant gold, which is what I need. I can't wear anything that isn't because I'm sweating a lot from workouts and I'm always in the ocean and I don't like taking it off when I go in the ocean. Oh, and then this one Lucas gave to me when he professed his love. So I can't put a link to that, but all the rest will be in the description. I love gold jewelry. I think it elevates any outfit and it just makes you feel a little bit fancy when you have stuff on. Time for beauty. Come into the bathroom with me. This is my little like favorite stand where I keep all of my everyday use of things. So let's just run through some of those. All time favorite scents. This one is my nighttime one and this one is my daytime one from I think Mason Marangella is the name. Next one is this brand Elemis. Most of their stuff is pro collagen marine made from like ocean life. It, I don't know a lot about skincare but i know like this one for instance has algae avocado oil really awesome things this is the night cream this is spf 30 day cream brightening serum and then this is like a morning matrix i put this under my eyes i also love all products from biosance this is the cleanser this is squalene oil. I put this on my face if I ever am noticing that my face is really dry or if I'm breaking out, I'll put a little bit into my moisturizer and put this on my face. But I also use it in my hair as like a little hair mask in my scalp and on my ends. And then this is rapid pumping cream. If you've been watching YouTube videos from the beginning, this was like one of the first PR things I got and I've gotten it ever since. And I'm obsessed with it. It's like a little serum you put and it just makes your face feel more alive in the morning. This is retinol and look at that. I'm scraping the bottom. I need to pick up a new one, but that just shows how much I use this. I use this at night and I just do the smallest amount too. Next, this stuff, I found this on TikTok, but I put this in as a hair mask if I'm having a sauna night. I know I'm gonna get sweaty, so I'll put some in my scalp and just massage it in. It's supposed to help with um, hair growth and just keeping your roots healthy and your hair thick and shiny. So we love her. Oof, I hope you guys know I'm literally in a sumo squat right now just to be able to be talking to y'all. Okay, makeup. Let's talk makeup. For my face, if I'm actually putting anything on my my face other than moisturizer. I like to do a little bit of BB cream and a little bit of these drunk elephant drops. Mix that around and it just makes like a glowy, very light type of makeup. That's if like I'm going out to dinner. For under the eyes and covering up any blemishes, this is what I've been loving. You can get it at like CVS or anywhere. So it's very affordable. I think it stays put. It says 24 hours. I would say it's pretty close to 24 hours. Cheap concealer. Anastasia brow gel. This is clear brow gel to just like spike up the brows, love her. Pixie is a brand I started getting PR for, which I'm so thankful. It's just crazy when I get a little gift in and I'm like, where the heck did this come from? But I've grown to love it. This is a palette that I use a lot. It has bronzer, blush, and then some highlighter. So I'm loving that. And they also came out with these cute little like on the go ones. You don't even really have to blend this. I already have a little bit on, but it's just like a stick and it's like a cream stick and you can just put some blush on and like Tap it. This one's a very like natural blush color, but they do have darker blushes if you're into that. Another cheap one, this is kind of a dupe for the Anastasia brow gel is the e.l.f. brow gel. I still think this works a little bit better, but if you're balling on a budget and you want this, this is a great option too. Merit Beauty is another one I've been loving. This is a contour stick. Natural deodorant. It's hard to find a good natural deodorant. I've tried out a few. A few of them worked. I'm really loving this one lately. It kind of is like a essential oils type of scent and it's free from all the aluminum, parabens, and all of that. So a great option for deodorant. This mouthwash. I saw Emily Kaiser using this on TikTok and I bought it and it's legit. I do a little swig anytime I'm going out somewhere just to make my breath smell good and it's very long lasting. And lastly, I can't hold this squat any longer, pimple patches. If I have a pimple that I see coming up at nighttime, I'll put it on after I wash my face and usually it just like zips everything out of it in the morning. You take it off and you're good to go. Whew, okay, let's get out of this squat. I think that's all for the bathroom. Let's head downstairs. Lucas had his tooth extracted. Out of all the favorites, that's my most favorite. What? I'm doing a favorites video. So I say you're my most favorite. Uh, Did you think that was cute or not? I didn't know what you were talking about. Go back, lay down. He's been literally watching movies for like 48 hours. Every time I try to do anything or think, my head or mouth hurts. Okay, let's get on to some home items real quick. I've been really into cleaning supplies lately and this brand is awesome. Um, Branch Basics, it comes with this concentrate and then all of the other bottles come empty. And so what you do is you fill it up to like, I don't know if I've talked about this on a vlog before yet, but you fill up the concentrate to whatever line it tells you and then you fill the rest up with water. Basically each thing, like there's all purpose spray, there's streak free glass cleaner, there's hand wash and all of it comes from this concentrate, which is super cool. It's made with the natural ingredients, um, essential oils. It doesn't have an overwhelming scent. So if you have sensitive skin or if anybody is 
prone to allergies or anything in your family, this is a great option. So Branch Basics, we also use them for laundry detergent and dish detergent too, because think about it, like your clothes, you're putting them on your body every day, your dishes, you're eating off of them every day. So I feel like what you're using to clean those and what chemicals you are or are not soaking on those things do really make a difference over time. So this has been a staple. We love Branch Basics. This next thing, I'm obsessed with this. This is a vacuum cleaner and she is chic. She is small, she is cute, but she gets the job done. She's high energy and she is also, what's the word? She doesn't require a cord, cordless, cordless, that's the word. She's cordless, so you can take her anywhere and she does look like she's not gonna hold a lot, but this little thing actually packs so much lint in there. It's an amazing purchase and I have so much fun with it too. Oh, I gotta take you in the office real quick. It would be a crime if I didn't show this. My walking desk, you guys have seen my walking desk and videos before. And it's a little bit messy right now, but this helps so much. If I am, it's like early in the morning and I just have a lot of work to get done, emails, editing, all that stuff, but I wanna get some movement in the morning and I don't have time, it's perfect. I could spend like an hour and a half doing busy computer work, walking on a low speed, and by the time I look, I've walked three miles and I didn't even realize it. It's seriously so cool, especially if you're busy and working from home, it helps out so much. I could also imagine that would help if you are a mama and like you put your kid down for a nap but you don't wanna leave the house or something. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, we're back in the kitchen. Let's talk food, let's talk snacks, let's talk drinks, let's talk supplements. Okay, first thing is this buffalo sauce. Did you see how excited I just got? That's because it's that good. We've been trying to find it because they ran out at Whole Foods and they finally restocked and Lucas got every single jar. So it, back in our pantry back there, there's nine containers of this. It is so good. It's dairy-free buffalo sauce. I put it on chicken nuggets. I put it on vegetables. I put it on everything. I make like little quesadillas with pulled chicken with it. So it's like a buffalo quesadilla. I dip celery in it, cucumbers. Like I just use it for everything and it's so good. Primal Kitchens is a great brand. And if you ever want to sponsor to me, Primal Kitchens, if you're watching this video, I'm your biggest fan. It would also be a crime if I didn't shout out my own brand, Kaizos, but not just because it's my own brand, but because it truly is something that I have every single day. I have this every single morning and this every single night. This is collagen. I don't know if it'll be launched by the time this video comes out. I don't think so, but it's coming very soon. We just got the packaging done and I put a scoop of this in my coffee each morning, but you can also mix it into smoothies and whatever. It's just grass-fed, unflavored, hydrolyzed collagen. And then the cocoa mix, of course. I've been doing iced cocoa, so it makes it like a chocolate milk with this, but you can also bake it into like brownies. You can mix it into smoothie bowls. You can make it into hot cocoa. Um, this one is specific really packed with calming benefit supplements like magnesium, collagen, ashwagandha, maca, chamomile. There's so many that lead to like a restful night of sleep. So I take this in the afternoon. Code YouTube 25, please. They have to be included. My chicken nuggets. These are gluten-free chicken nuggets. I get them from Whole Foods, but I think you can get them at like Publix and stuff too. These are so good. I feel like a little kid every time I eat them in the best way. I just love these, they're so easy. I put them in my air fryer, which leads me to the next thing. The gorgeous little station over here. We'll first start with my air fryer. I use her multiple times a day. This is the brand, it's linked on my Amazon storefront and it is like this little touch screen situation. Um, but yeah, I cook everything in here from chicken to fish to toast to desserts, everything. This is so awesome. Frother, this is what I use to make my Kaizos at night and really anything else that I need to whisk like pre-workout. My coffee machine, she's so easy and simple. It's just like two clicks on this button and she's made ready for me. Love her. I ran out of these, I only have one left, but I do have Nespresso sometimes too. I switch back and forth between these. So those are also my favorites. All of this is linked in Amazon. My favorite pre-workout snack bar is Verb Bars. This is the protein one, so they have like a more hefty protein one and then these are the pre-workout energy ones so they're a little bit smaller also has the same amount of caffeine as one espresso so we love that and i do have a code for them too another dessert that i'm loving you can tell i have a sweet tooth today it's just plain dates We've been getting these from whole foods but you take the pit out put a little bit of almond butter and a little bit of dark chocolate chips such a good dessert. I also will pop these into a smoothie sometimes and they add just a really good sweetness and consistency to smoothies or smoothie bowls. I feel like this is a given one because I talk about this all the time on my Instagram, but AG1. This is my greens powder, but it's like way more than a greens powder. It's also my multivitamin. It has all of the vitamins and minerals that I want in my body first thing in the morning, giving me that little boost of energy and sustaining it throughout the day. So that is AG1. Oh, the last two things. One is for hydration throughout the day with little drinks. Sometimes I like to add something other than just 
plain water because I struggle with getting my water intake because I just don't like the taste of water. I know it's weird, but putting one of these in gives it a little bit of flavor and extra hydration and they're really good. That's from noon. And then lastly, this is something I have every morning. It's my probiotic Just Thrive. I've been with them for like over two years now. Um, love these. They are formulated to actually make it to your gut because a lot of probiotics that are cheaper just kind of like die off. So you're paying like however much for this bottle and then really not seeing a lot of the benefits because it dies off before it can even get into your stomach and into your gut. But these are the real deal. And then they're gluten away pill too. If I ever have a meal that's like heavy in gluten, I am heavily affected by it with like brain fog, breaking out, feeling bloated, all the things. So having one of these, the meal helps me to like block that all from my system. That's a wrap on the food and the supplements and the snacks. For electronics, I can't show you because I'm vlogging on it, but I use the Sony ZV-1 and I love it. So if you are looking to get into YouTube or vlogging, that's also how I record my app workout. So it goes really well for like vertical too. If I just change my tripod, that's my favorite vlog camera. I've tried like three vlog cameras in my life. I used to vlog on this one and I like the Sony one a lot better for vlogging, but this is one I wanted to show. I like this for pictures. Flash pictures on this has been so fun. And there's a little example. Dang it, it doesn't really look good on the screen, but yeah, it takes really good like flash photos. And it's just a fun thing to bring if you're going somewhere like out and about in a new city or something to have so you're not constantly relying on your phone for photos. Another part of my content lately has been my GoPro. And I really like this for if I'm surfing in the water, if I'm swimming, diving around, playing on the boat. This thing, unlike my camera or my phone, I feel like this is just indestructible and I can throw it, I can toss it. If it drops, this thing floats. So I just like, this is a carefree thing to have for me when I'm doing adventure style content. So if that sounds like something you would like, um, this is the GoPro Hero 8, I believe, yeah. Eight. And then lastly, I just got this and I tested it out the other day. I did a TikTok on it if you want to go look at my TikTok, but it is a waterproof case for my iPhone. And I really like this because quality on this for pictures on a GoPro is not as good as I want it to be. So this is what I'm going for if I want to go down and take really higher quality photos in some videos too. It will take a little bit to get used to. For instance, you can't switch from like one to 0.5 on your video. You would have to take it out of the case and re-put that back in and everything. But other than that, it's taken really good stuff i'll put some stuff on the screen but everything came out really clear and i got no water on my phone so this has been really nice so the last little thing i have to show you if you have a camera that takes any type of sd card whether it's the big one or the little small one this thing can convert straight from your sd card to your phone so say you're out in a boat and you have a chill moment and you want to get some pictures off your camera to post on your story you can just plug this into your phone insert a little sd card and get them straight onto your phone instead of having to wait until you get home and get to your laptop so this thing is really helpful for content creation. That's all I have for electronics. Um, while we're here though, let's talk creators. I know that was one of the things of my favorite creators to watch. Honestly, right now they're my friends, which that might be a little bit biased, but I love keeping up with what my friends are doing and supporting their channels and sharing about them. So I would say Mary Margaret's channel is so fun. She shows a lot of her outfits, how she's planning to pack for Europe, that type of stuff. And her YouTube is growing so fast. So I'm really loving all of her videos. I also really love Caitlin Nolan. I remember the first time her video popped up, I was just so motivated by it her lifestyle and her organization and how clean she keeps her house. And I really think that even though she's one of my friends now, like I've learned so much from her and she's really inspired me in that way. Sydney Adams is a staple, I feel like for everyone right now, she's just super on it and organized and motivating. Um, who else? Sarah's Day has been my go-to of like, oh, if yeah. I wanna get in a good mood, I will go watch a Sarah's Day video any day. She's always been awesome, like so for nine years. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Heather Goody, I love her adventure style stuff. I love seeing her little life with her toddler in Hawaii and all of that. Um, Sydney Tilt is just so very relatable and very funny. I love watching her TikToks when I just need a good laugh. Honestly, all of my friends that I post with post amazing inspirational stuff all the time, whether it's in fashion or fitness or nutrition or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just proud of all of them. Oh, I know one that I wrote down specifically her, I think it's her TikTok or her Instagram name is AJ Coastal. And she's the girl that like goes and dives under her grandma's dock and like touches the little lobsters. If you know, you know, if you don't, you should go check it out because they're so cool. It's so unnormal and it's not like what everyone else is doing, which I think is what makes her really stand out to me. So those are my creators that I'm loving right now. The last thing we have is like gym, fitness, wellness stuff. So let's take you into the garage gym real quick. Ooh, don't look at my messy house. These lights 
changed the game. Like look at how vibey that just made the gym feel. We still have a lot of work to do in here. We got really motivated to do everything and then just life got crazy so we never finished. We still need to get like a neon sign over here, another mirror, some greenery that we wanna drape down but it's still coming together. The number one thing is ice barrel. We love our ice barrels. This is the boys one and this is the girl one. So we fill it up with ice and then Luke has also attached this water chiller to it. Lucas specifically likes the contrast from the ice barrel to the sauna back and forth. I've done that a handful of times and it's really, really hard, but after a sweaty workout, I do love to do a quick dunk in the ice barrel. But honestly, the most I can stay is for like a minute. But for me, it helps so much with mental clarity. It helps with muscle recovery. I'll get done with like a super hard workout where I'm like, dang, I'm gonna be so sore the next day. And I sit in the ice barrel for a minute and then that feeling is gone and then I'm not sore the next day. So I think it really truly does help with muscle tightness, soreness and muscle recovery. And same with the sauna. This is our sunlight and sauna. You guys have seen this a lot before. This is definitely a favorite of mine. I like to go in here at nighttime, sit and watch a YouTube video on here. We have a little screen and you can turn it on and then you can go to really anything you want to do. Like we go to YouTube, Spotify, Netflix, you can watch anything in here. So I've been coming in at night and watching a couple vlogs and just dripping sweat for like 30, 40 minutes. Lucas also added this. This is a stovetop cooker and it's supposed to make it even more hot in here. So we love that. We love getting sweaty in here. The last little thing I'm going to show you guys are these new weights from Bowflex on Amazon. You can rack them and stack up as many weight as you want by switching the plates here. So it makes it super nice if you don't have a little rack like this or if you do but you just want more options. These are freaking awesome. But that wraps up all of my favorites. I hope you guys like this video. I know it's a lot different than anything I've posted on my channel in a while but that was the point of the whole change. So please give me all the feedback. I want to know what you guys really want and what you want to see more of. Um, and I know this was requested but keep all those requests coming because I want to just start literally picking one of y'all's comments and be like, okay, I'm doing this next week and planning my posts like that. So keep them coming. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it to help me grow this channel even more and leave in the comments any questions you have with any of the stuff I posted and I'll see you next week. Much love.